where you have to calculate class boundaries and class midpoints for the following data of each rainfall. So this is basically information given that are given as you see. So most probably you will have a class available, okay, and also maybe you will have a frequencies also available. So this time I'm really interested on classes because we are looking for class boundaries, and most probably. You know, you need a class boundary as well. Some of you say, why well, you need a class boundary? I need a class boundary basically in order to construct frequency histogram. Frequency histogram doesn't have any space between that. So we need a class boundaries. So well, this is a class. It's a first class. I want to make sure we understand. These are all 67, 80, 93, 106, 119. These are lower class limit. And 79, 92, 105, 118, 131 is upper class limit any number is big in any class we call it upper any number is smaller in any class we call it lower class limit so we're going to actually look for boundaries boundaries means look at this this rectangle and this rectangle basically there is a boundary actually on this rectangle and actually from both of the you know rectangle this is very distant this is one room this is another room this is the boundary so this should be the same distance from both so if I look into 79 and next class is 80, so what is the distance, you know, balance, scale. So it should be 79 plus 80 divided by 2, so it's 79.5. Or don't make it complicated, just add 0 0.5, 79.5, add 0 0.5, add 0 0.5, add 0 0.5, if 0 0.5, it should be fine. Only the first one you need in order to construct histogram, you subtract 0 0.5. So you can do the same thing actually on the left side in order to find those. So let's actually continue. So I'm going to actually add 0.5, add 0.5 and also I'm going to actually subtract 0.5 here. Okay, so that will allow me to write down as a 66.5 to 70.5. Okay, that's basically the lower class boundary. This is upper class boundary. So if I keep doing the same thing, 0.5, as you'll see, it's going to be 92.5, and this is going to be 79.5, you just subtract. So if I keep doing it, actually, look at this, it's giving me what? 79.5, this one giving me this one, right? As you clearly see, this comes up. So how this coming up? 92.5, at 0.5, at 0.5, at 0.5. It's all upper class boundaries. And these are all lower class boundaries. Use a subtract 0.5. Again, when you actually try to draw a histogram, only thing you need this one and those upper class boundaries you need actually, okay? So how do you find the class midpoint? Well, class midpoint is basically you take the average, in other words, higher number plus smaller number so add these two number divide by two so if I do this basically down here 67 plus 79 divided by 2 and it should give me 73 again you can use any you can get help of any simple calculators is gonna give you that answers okay okay so if you use that actually uh, N over D 67 plus 79 divided by 2 and you enter this gives you 73 or you don't have to press N over D you can just do 67 plus 79 be careful don't use the division now you have to enter then divided by 2 otherwise order of operation is not going to take it so 73 so I keep doing the same thing for both of them, uh, you know, rest of them. So 86, 99, 112, and 125. So how I get this? I just add 119 plus 131 divided by 2. That will give me 125. And 106, 106 plus 118 divided by 2 is going to give me 118, 112, sorry. That's how we find the class midpoint, and that's how we find the class boundaries. Thank you.